right, everybody. Today we're gonna make American goulash. So first things first, I got my butter and my olive oil because butter makes everything taste better. And I'm gonna let this uh, start first to melt down in my Instapot. And then I have my spice uh, packet right here. That's garlic, uh, onion powder, Italian seasonings, white pepper, black pepper, paprika, a little bit of chili powder and all that good stuff. And as usual, here comes Shiva trying to figure out what's going on. So anyway, I'm gonna add a few extra ingredients like these potatoes, but basically this is a nice little hearty fall meal. So let's see, just give it a little time. It takes a while for this to melt down. Then, like I said, first things we do, we're gonna slowly saute our seasonings. Then we're gonna add our onions, garlic, shallots, and peppers. All right, so now we got our butter and stuff now. Let's add our spice pack right here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. And we're about to add these onions and shallots and all the other good stuff. Mm. It's just Home Depot thing. That's not Home Depot thing. That's the cut vegetables. Look at this, y'all. This is what happens when you have heterosexual friends that don't cook. I cook. Your recipe has two moves, shake and bake. Ha! What's wrong with that? I'm sorry. It works. That's still too complicated for you. I should have did your true recipe. Uber heat, Eats? No. Heat and serve. Yeah, you throw it in the microwave. See? There you go. Give me uh, eggs in the microwave. Those are nasty. Eggs in the microwave. Bake. You put it all in like one thing, man. The bacon, the egg, everything. Throw in the microwave. It's like two minutes, you good. Salmonella. Okay guys, so let me pause this and add some more of this in. I'm just getting all this stuff out of my chopomatic. This is a mix of sweet onion, shallots, and garlic. So saute that first down. Now you can look inside the pot, you see how that's going. So, you know, saute that first, a little caramelization, and then we're going to add some frozen. So, we start with the fresh first, because if I put in the frozen first, you know, dude, as a matter of fact, what well, next thing I'm going to add are the potatoes. No, let's see, we won't do the potatoes first, we'll do the frozen peppers, the potatoes are going to cook glass. I just want them to get a little bit of oil before they start um, simmering. So anyway, you just keep stirring this. And these are all your seasonings and everything. How does it smell, Bacchus? It smells good. Thank you. That's the base for cooking. Your aromas. This is why they call these aromatics. Aromatics? Yep. Ain't that the new Jordans? No. Oh, my bad. So, again, heterosexual man. So, now add that. Your peppers. All right, now. You see that? That's how you do it, son. Nice colors and everything. Okay. Next, add these potatoes. Mm. 
again, just a few of these potatoes, not a lot. This is a pasta dish. This is just gonna make it a little more hearty. These are petite Yukon Golds. And I just chopped them up a little bit. These Dutch yellows. Oh, I'll, fill out. I'll clean that up later. Next thing's next. We're gonna add our beef. It's meant for dinner. It is. Now this is what I always get. This is the market cut from Publix. Always get the market if you have a Publix near you. The reason you do that is because what they do is consider the cheap stuff, but what they do is they take the chopped sirloin, the ground chuck, and all the other trimmings they have left over, and they add it, and they create this, so nothing goes to waste. So you're getting really a better cut of beef. You're getting different, more beefy flavor, because you're getting different cuts of beef in this versus just getting ground chuck or sirloin or whatever. I always, when I'm cooking with beef, I always go to Publix for this. If it wasn't for this, I probably would just regularly go to Kroger and all the other stuff. But you can only get this at Publix, so I usually end up doing my shopping at Publix just so I can get this type of ground beef. For my friends up in Kentucky and Louisville, Publix is supposed to be opening up next year, I think. How much is that, one pound? This is one uh, one and a half pounds approximately is about 1.42 LBs. Okay. And it's 780. So this is not really an expensive meal either. Okay, so you see that. Don't want it to stick because if it's sticky, I'll burn the sensor will come off. All right. Mm, don't want that in there. No, that's not good. That won't do well for your body. Clean up a little bit. All right, guys. Chop, chop. Boy, boy. Much, much. Okay. Now we're going to cook this all up first before we add our liquids. No, we're not gonna add that. Oh, we're not bad. adding that. Damn it. If you do want to have a little liquor, you can add some red wine to this. Eat the hard stuff. You can do red wine or white wine if you choose. I'm not doing that today, but that is something that can be done. Now, my favorite, Worcester sauce. It makes beef beefier. Is that what you shower in? Mm -hmm. that That's why I'm such a beefy man. Yeah, shower in. Worthless, worthless, the pusher. I can't this say it. Good, this is the good stuff. Shake it, shake it. Okay, now, so. Now sprinkle this on your ground beef. Oh, yeah. Okay, and continue to saute. Saute, my damn it. See that? How's that look? Can you see it? You need to put it smells the light. great. Okay. Look at the smell of garlic. Yeah, you're supposed to smell everything. Pause. Pause. All right, guys. So the beef is ready. Now we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. Okay. Put in some beef consomme. Beef consomme.
And a little more beef consomme. Okay. A little bit of tomato sauce. Diced tomatoes, I do the real a little more spice. There's some chopped petite tomatoes up in here. Also, add some bay leaves. Okay, and just a can of water. Alright. Now we're going to let that simmer for a minute. Probably about... Mm, 30 to 45 minutes. After that, we'll add the pasta. Let's put a few carrots in there, just a few. Again, just making this a little more hearty. Okay, so we've been cooking this for about 20 minutes in the pressure cooker. Now we're going to add our pasta, where we're going to check and see first. Whoops. You see that? That's that hot vent. All right. You just scared the kitty. <laughs> so we got to let it de-vent first. And then we can see it. Still waiting for it to depressurize. It's been 20 minutes though. So let's see. It should be ready, but nope, it's still not ready to open. So now that's done. Let's add our pasta. Oh yeah, that's looking really nice, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Nice, nice, nice. I haven't put it in the pasta yet, but as you see. It's ready. Okay. Now about to do that. All right, put these in. That's one cup of small elbow macaroni. Stir that on in. And then we'll do one cup of large elbows. I mix and match because I like to mix and match. All right. <laughs> okay, add a few more pasta noodles to this. Okay, yeah, that's about enough. sure we don't have too much or too little okay I just did three cups mix I think I should do one more cup okay one more cup okay Yeah, that's enough. Now I can see the noodles. Okay, now put the top back on here. 
and cook it for maybe five more minutes, eight more minutes. Here we go. All right, guys. It's goulash. Let's see. My guest is trying it now. Let's see if he says it's, it's good. Hot. Oh, it's too hot for him to even try. I don't know the bowl is hot. Too hot for me to hold. Oh. Goulash. Put some cheddar cheese on that for you. That makes it even better. Good. Okay, everybody. This is my test subject, Bacchus. Bacchus is going to let you know if it's good or not. I'm O positive just in case I fall out. <laughs> you need to know. Oh, thanks. Nice, steamy. Smells steamy. great. Got some American cheese. Was that cheddar or American? Cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. And Parmesan. I did, and I pepper did flakes. mix. Yeah, pepper flakes. Okay. I did that ah! as a garnish. Damn it. I forgot to put the uh, parsley on it. Is that good? The pasta soaked up the saltiness. So now it's all even. It tastes like fresh pasta. What pasta? It tastes like fresh pasta. Like handmade pasta. It mm -hmm. still tastes like the dough, not the process. But everything <laughs> else, the sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Everything blends nicely. Nothing overpowers anything. Everything is just like... It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> so she sounds like somebody getting married or something. It was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it was thick. Very right. I think I might have just put a few too many noodles in it. I was trying to mm -hmm. not put I'm thinking so, but I think it's still fine, though. Like you wanted it hearty, and mm -hmm. this one was definitely hearty. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a little goes a long way. It's not a lot of... Like, I'm eating this with a fork, and it's still all on there, so mm -hmm. that's how you want it. You don't want it soupy. Yeah. So, did you get the potatoes and the carrots? No, I ain't gotten that deep yet. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. He says it passes his test, so I guess I know what I'm doing. And now we got our bread ready. Okay, I'm going to add my goulash on top of this to add some greenery to it and it will wilt. There we go. We have pasta and tomatoes. Potatoes. Mm hmm. A handful of spinach going. <laughs> Gonna do what? <laughs> Whatever. It's still more uh, green than your ass saying. Put some green on my bread. That's <laughs> good, John. Oh, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Shit. Let me have my girl cook for me like twice. I usually wouldn't do another cooking. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see, I have all these skill sets and I'm still single. You and I both, my friend. You and I both. But I'm nice and sweet. You're not. See? Either which way, you're still fucked. <laughs> okay. I, got I, I guess I can't argue with that logic, can I? I got all right, everybody. So this is goulash and... That's how you make it. Goulash. If you was following me, I hope you like it. This is me just making it slightly healthy by like adding some greens. If you like it and want to see more recipes, feel free to subscribe Hit to my YouTube app. channel, Keon's World on YouTube. Talk to you later. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. And bonsoir. Take my little pictures.